Hey everybody, how you doing? Joe here from Scruffy Fam. Hey guys, first I wanna say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing to us and uh, we have this really cool thing coming up. Once we hit 500 subscribers, I will tell you guys the giveaway that we're gonna do. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a giveaway. So the best way to help us with that is to like and share our videos if you like what you're seeing here. Um, and as we've gone back and looked at our videos and the ones you guys watch the most, far and away the how to make herbal oils quickly that tasha did last year um, has been super popular so go check that out if you guys like that let us know and we'll make more of those videos um, tasha is a clinical herbalist so if you're interested in more of her herbalism stuff let us know in the comments and um, we'll make that happen so last week we did our garden tour um, actually it was more than that at this point when you're seeing um, and in the time since the tour to now, our garden has exploded. Um, we've had some rain mixed with sun and it has just been nuts. So uh, I'm just gonna do a quick garden update and tell you what we've got going on right now. Uh, we, are, we are very much into plant everything. It is, we are at that time where all of our seedlings that we had, we've been doing the hardening with them, we're getting them in the beds. It is just, it is nuts. So um, I'll show you what we got going on right now, tell you what we're doing today. Um, it It's crazy, the amount that has happened here. So uh, the last time you guys saw our potatoes, they were not like this. This, this has been about eight days-ish since we last saw them, and they have absolutely gone nuts. We do still have some of that weed pressure we talked about with these little grasses, see if I can get it here. These little grasses that are growing in here. Um, but now we're at the point where uh, the potatoes are so big, it doesn't matter, it's gonna drown them out. And um, this is kind of a funny thing that Tasha didn't show you on the garden tour, but this is our fire pit. And we actually were gonna take this fire pit out because to make room for the raised beds and <laughs> I was burning off some of the old bulbs and if you guys can see here some of them actually took root in the fireplace and we're gonna have some flowers coming up here really really soon so uh, that happened and for those of you that are wondering about our compost pile uh, that we moved check this out our pile is nice and hot and active um, so we moved our compost pile from where it was to over here uh, to make room for where our potato bed currently is and it's back up to cooking and hot um, one other thing that we did let's see if I can show you guys behind me we built an arbor out of a cattle panel we have it going from our garlic bed that we talked about here coming up and over to the potato bed um, this thing is huge. Uh, we were able to get it in. I'm very happy about that. Uh, but it it was kind of a pain to get here. But once we got it here and get it in, it was actually pretty easy. Elijah and I got it done pretty quick. Uh, our garlic is doing absolutely amazing. Things are huge. Uh, we've got some, some starts here that we have that we're going to get in here today. Um, we got our cherry tomato that we forgot to start the seed on. Honestly, jalapeno or jalapeno seed star just didn't do too well. So we're gonna, we got some help with that. We got some basil because our daughter absolutely loved it. Um, looks like we've got some stevia here. Uh, we've got some, another tomato and some yarrow. I won't pretend to tell you about all the benefits of some of those plants because that is Tasha's wheelhouse. Um, let's come and check on what she's doing. Chickens are mowing the lawn for me. You guys can see here. Hey girls. They're mowing. Um, let me show you our lettuce and our spinach. So the last time you saw this, they were little. They are no longer little. We have full salads going here. This is pretty awesome. Um, our cat soy yeah. spinach. Um, this stuff was is crazy. Look at these leaves. That's the normal spinach. This is our normal spinach, but guys, there's my hand. 
that is what we currently have. So we've got some harvesting of some spinach that we got to do, some of our lettuce. Um, uh oh. Yeah, I saw that. It's almost trying to eat on our spinach leaves here. Yeah. Oh, that's a kale. Okay. Someone's trying to eat on our kale. Um, yeah. Bugs. All right. So, anyways, that's what we got going there. Uh, Tasha is getting our onions in. As you can see here, we are doing. What are we doing with the onions? So, um, I seeded them really thickly, and then um, just kind of very gently teased the roots apart. You can kind of see they're like super wiry, so they don't tangle very easily. Um, <laughs> so I just kind of teased them apart, and then I am planting them. These are definitely not as big as I want them to be at this point. They got started a little bit late, but um, they actually are doing better than I thought they were um, in the little containers. We still actually have three more. And as you can see, so this is five squares planted out with nine onions each, and that was only, well, plus this little guy, um, and that was two of the containers, and we have three more. So, <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna have to put some onions in pots or something. We're gonna have to figure something out, but, um, yeah, we'll kind of, we'll see how they do. I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah, and then we've got our uh, peas are doing good there. Um, our beets are coming up. We, we're, we still have to get the rest of our beets in. That's also the plan for today to try to do that. We've harvested some of our radishes. Um, our radishes have actually been a lot better this year than last year. So kind of hoping that what we did with the soil is going to help out our beets as well. Uh, and you can see, I think we got a radish here that's pushing its way out of the ground and one here. So the only problem we're finding the so we're finding that the radishes, um, what's the word, wilt, wrinkle? Dry out. Yeah, the radishes dry out really quickly on the countertops, so it's definitely one of those you want to harvest them as you're going to eat them. Um, we've had a few that I've actually unfortunately had to throw out, but um, it doesn't really hurt anything by leaving them in the ground for another day or two, so lesson learned. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, our peas are growing up good. Our carrot experiment here in the pot is also doing really well. Um, these guys are looking really good. They're, they're turning out good. Hey, this one didn't have as much of the weed pressure as some of the other bed, beds did. Um, same straw. Same straw. Don't know. But there's also one other thing I want to show you guys just as a really quick garden update is we're getting stuff in. And as Tasha said, we still have, this is all the onion <laughs> that we still have to get in. So it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot. So maybe we'll put some in next to the potatoes or maybe we'll put some in in oh, some pots, but we'll, uh, we'll have, we have an idea, but we've got, as, as you can see here, we do the square foot gardening method and it is already mapped out we've got a plan for everything's gonna go so um, let's come up here and look at the blueberry this is something I want to show you guys that we are crazy excited about this so check this out our blueberry has done absolutely amazing it is flowered last year we picked off every flower that we saw on this thing so that it would not produce fruit, so we could just concentrate on growing. This year, we, I don't know if you guys can see that, this year we are going to have blueberries. So, really excited about that. Hi Shiloh, what's that? It's a bucket. That's your bucket, huh? It's kind of shallow, it's talking. It's yep. a picture. That is a picture of you, huh? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's our kiddos. Okay, so guys, that's just a quick update. Um, tell you what's been going on, what we've been doing. We've been really, really busy between our our school, work, everything else. It's been nuts. So getting the garden up and going again is something we've been extremely happy about. Uh, getting all of the plants in, we are now in full swing. For us, our last frost date was only like two weeks ago 
but in that two week period, our temperatures have jumped significantly. Our nighttime temperatures are now in the 60s, where before they were in the 30s and 40s. And so it was a two week turnaround. So in that time, all the green stuff here has absolutely exploded. My yard has turned into a jungle. Uh, the chickens are helping. Uh, I mowed a week ago today and I already, it doesn't look like I mowed at all. So absolutely nuts. Uh, we're really excited about all the stuff we have planned. Um, we've got a ton of projects. Here, let me turn so you can actually see me. We're really excited about everything. We've got a ton of projects planned. Um, everything from this giant mulberry tree behind me, uh, uh, pretty cool. I discovered a way to catch the mulberries where the dog's not gonna get them. That is gonna be fun when I do that project. Uh, I'm trying to convince Tasha to put in another garden bed. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But we have the plan for this year. Really excited. Um, guys, if you have any questions over why we do the things we do or how we do them, please feel free to comment down below. If you guys have questions about herbs. <laughs> well then, our neighbor dog just said hi to the chicken. That's what that was. So if you guys have any questions about herbs, um, Tasha is a clinical herbalist. If you have any questions about tinctures, oils, salves, home remedies, any of those things, um, we'd be more than happy to do a Q&A with that or show you guys how to make some of that. Um, if you have any questions on why we compost with our chickens the way we do, I did a video over that last year. Uh, if you wanna know how we saved money building this raised bed, we did that in a video. And we've got some other stuff coming up on how to help with our kiddos. So um, guys, thank you so much for everyone that's following along, that's joined us on this journey so far. Uh, like I said, thank you so much for everybody that subscribed. Once we get to 500 subscribers, I'll tell you the giveaway. When we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll do the giveaway. So really excited about that. Thank you so much, guys. You can follow us along at the Scruffy Fam on Instagram or the Scruffy Mama. If you need to get a hold of us, it's the Scruffy Fam at gmail.com. Thanks much, and we'll see you guys next time.